how he gets you, darling. Can I have a coat, please? That'll be four twenty-five. Take the change. I don't know what I'm gonna do, man. Coach says if I don't get at least a C at the end of the week in chemistry, he's benching me for the game. Huh, maybe you should consider studying. Studying? <laughs> That's funny, where'd you get that at? I'm just saying it might be more productive than getting your butt kicked at pool every day after practice. Ooh. Would you look at that? You lost again. Want a rematch? Nah, I'm good, man. I gotta start heading out anyway. Oh, worried I'll beat you again? No, I'm worried that my mom's freaking out if I don't get home soon. Coach told her about my grades. Fair enough. I'll catch you at home tomorrow. All right. See you, Danny. I'll play you. Excuse me? I said, I'll play you. No, thanks. You worried I'll beat you? <laughs> You're a chick. And? Pool isn't really a girls' game. You probably won't find it very fun. Sounds like someone's afraid they're going to lose. OK, you want to play? Let's go then. You're up first. Wow, impressive. Not bad for a chick. So what's your name? Ivy, you? Lucas, Lucas Keller. Like Helen? <laughs> Not quite. Well, you shoot like her. You got a problem with me or something? No, no problem. Just trying to figure out what a guy like you is doing here playing pool. Can you have a girlfriend if he's spending time with? Single. I like it that way. Well, that's a shame. Why is that? Because I could think of so many other things you could be doing right now besides playing pool. Do you usually come on to guys your first time meeting me? Only the cute ones. <laughs> well, so you've really never seen Pulp Fiction? John Travolta, Samuel L. Jackson, I mean, <laughs> it's a classic. Is he the one with the hook that tells the women to be his victim? You mean Candyman? That's, uh, that's Tony Todd, not Samuel L. Jackson. I like that movie. <laughs> what, Candyman? Yeah. When the bees swim out of his mouth. It's like my favorite part. So, um, I've never seen you at school before. Don't, didn't you say you lived around here? Uh, I'm homeschooled. It's still a pretty small town. I just figured I'd never seen you around before. <laughs> Jeez, detective, you caught me. Um, I moved here a month ago. My family lives around a lot. So. But enough about me. Tell me, tell me about you. Right, I, I play football. I'm a defensive back for the school's team. I've lived here my whole life. Right. It's actually my mom over there. <laughs> Ooh, so you're like a jock. I don't really like that term. Why is that? I don't know, I just, I don't mess with other people like some of the other guys do. Such a sweetheart. <laughs> I don't really, you're not really like many other girls around here. I don't know how to explain it. You're just so... Adventurous? <laughs> I was gonna say confident, but uh, I'd like to find out how adventurous you are too.
you got him? No, he's out of town. Good. This, this is crazy. What is? I mean, we barely know each other. You sure you're okay with this? Sometimes bad things are meant to feel good. But what are people gonna think? I wouldn't worry too much about that. <laughs> what? You're gonna keep this a secret or something? Yeah. It's like the whole point. expected to conclude as the mayor hopes to reopen the town hall for public hearings starting next month. And finally tonight, local authorities tell us the search for missing 17-year-old Jacob Herring has been called off as they are now investigating it as a homicide. The announcement was made following the discovery of the Was that when you're doing? <laughs>